Hey, it's Kara. You're watching Really Famous, where I have real talks with actors from your favorite TV shows and movies. Today, I'm talking to Julian McMahon. He's about to share some personal details, so you want to stick around. Uh, I'll tag you on social media and all that good stuff. And, okay, uh, great. I just started Instagram a little while ago. Oh, you just started? Yeah. Well, so what happened was um, CBS, well, I've been asked to for years, you know, last couple of years I've been working and they're like, can you do social media? And I was very much against it. And, and then, um, <clears throat> uh, you know what? They keep coming and they keep pushing and, and maybe it's something I should look at. And if I don't like it or I don't kind of understand it, which I didn't understand it by the way, but if I don't, if I'm not enjoying it, I guess is, is, the, is the idea. Um, then you know I can always come off it, right? Right. Um, and so then I started, and uh, I got my account, and um, and then I had my daughter help me do a couple things, and then Kellen, who's a, a co-star on the show, helped me do some posts, and Nathaniel and uh, Keisha. And so I was getting help from all the kids on set and everybody, and then Yaya, who plays my daughter, she's like, "No, you don't do it like that. You do it like this." And, <laughs> She was so cute. Perfect. What to do. They're going to teach you exactly that. That's what you need, right. right? Like, why figure it out on your own? They're going to tell you all the secrets. Oh, it's fantastic. And then I had even my makeup artist. She's like a big, you know, um, you know, social media girl. She does a lot of stuff on that. And, and so, and so I kind of delved, you know, just dove into this social media thing. And, and uh, I, I really enjoy it as a kind of, um, I only do Instagram right now, but it's kind of a great, uh, way to be able to um, communicate certain things with people like it's really yeah. you know, I think you can to a certain extent you can use it how you want to you know what I mean um, but I've I've found it a really kind of cool way to be able to communicate kind of sentiments and things that I was feeling when we're or going through when I was shooting a particular scene or yeah, something, yeah. Meant something to me or whatever that was. And yeah, I think it could, that's a good thing. I think people do, they're interested in that and seeing like the other side of, of whatever they're watching on TV. Mm -hmm. I like Instagram too. So I have, so I'm, I'm on Twitter and Facebook as well. But for me, Instagram feels like a comfy place. Like it's a happy place. Mm -hmm. It's a fun way to communicate with fans. And uh it's just kind of nice. So you can have some fun with it, I think. Try I, Instagram stories. Has anybody taught you how to do it? I kind of don't understand them yet. I still got to kind of work on the story thing. I mean, I see other people's stories, but I just don't know how to. Stories are easy. Yeah. They're super easy. And then they disappear. So you don't have to feel like stress that they have to look like a perfect professional picture or whatever. So oh, you okay. can just throw a picture up and then there are all kinds of little stickers you can put yeah, on. Your, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. so easy. And like, it's just fun. I like stories. Yeah. I think a lot of people even like stories more than they like the regular posts. Oh, okay. Okay. Try that. I see a lot of the guys, they, they post on stories that in fact, some of them just, just do stories. Yeah, exactly. That's what some yeah. people are doing now. So yeah. here's what, you, what I'll do. I'm going to do a story probably in a couple of days and you're going to be in it and I'm going to tag you in the story. And then okay. you can, if you look at your messages, you'll see that you've been tagged and then you can even just share that on your story. So, so does that mean you hashtag, hashtag me? Um, I'll, ta I'll tag with the at symbol. Oh, so what I'll do is I'll write, so I'll put a picture, maybe I'll take a snapshot of like the computer like this and yeah. I'll add it to my story and then I'll just, I'll uh, add the hashtag, uh, not hashtag, the uh, like the uh, at symbol yeah. with your, if it, what is it, uh, uh, Julian McMahon, is that what your name Julian McMahon is? official is mine. Okay, so that's what I'll tag and then you'll see it if you notice, but I know a lot of the things, I was like this too at the beginning, I didn't even know that I got messages, I didn't see it. But there's this little thing on the top right, and it'll show up. Oh, that little um, envelope or something. Yeah, that like a little... paper airplane. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So exactly. if you tap on that, you'll see messages. Some you won't, you may not notice because they're from people you're not following. You're not following each other, right. but you may message your friends or people who who are following each other through yeah. that, and then it would show up there that oh, Kara Mayer Robinson tagged you in her story. Do you want to add it to yours? And you just press tap. And then boom, you have part of that on your story too. Stories are easy, they're fun. I think you should get into them. Okay, I might. I still might need some help from my daughter. But you know, yeah. interestingly, and I know, I, I know you you got to crack on. But um, my daughter got me to sign into TikTok last night. It's funny. Oh my God, there are some funny things there. 
I mean, people post some hysteria. I spent, I, I couldn't stop. You know, you just go like this and you yeah. go to somebody else's funny thing. You know what I mean? There's this great thing that a lot of celebrities are doing about, in fact, a lot of people are doing about, you know, ask the parents the question or who fell in love with her, you know, all these yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's other great things. Like I said, there's this guy who does this uh, interpretation of, <laughs> of Obama and Trump together. Have you heard of this? This? No. Oh my goodness. Is this it guy, funny? So funny. He does the voices of them absolutely perfectly. So like last night I was watching one that he did, which is um, Obama and Trump have a sleepover. <laughs> it just, you, got, you got to check it out. It's so good. It's so funny. I mean, it's like, it's not crude or rude or political or any, you know, it's not any, it's just. Amusing. Yeah, it's just funny and it's really cute. And it's, the way the, the voice is just good, it's great. What is this, running out of time? This mm. meeting has been upgraded by the host. Well, that's so interesting. I'm getting a message that we've, oh, it's just about the 40 minute limit. Cause I think normally you have a 40 minute limit from Zoom if you have more than two people on the, oh, you know why? I bet it's because Chris popped into the frame at one he's point. Hanging on it, he's hanging out there. And you're like, oh, he's just chatting away and Chris, is, <laughs> and now he's charging it. That was Julian McMahon. If you like this video, please smash the like button and tap on the subscribe button for more talks with your favorite actors.